Hey, hey, planning friends. I am back with a little Monday setup, even though it's not going to be Monday by the time you see this, but I am setting this up on a Monday. Um, I have not gotten to my last two weeks. I was kind of just waiting to see um, how the last two weeks uh, were going to work out. And I knew I kind of wanted to change it a little bit. I am coming to the end of this notebook, which is kind of crazy since it's only April. Um, I believe I'll probably only get maybe May. If I get June in this, it's probably going to be a miracle. Um, and then at that point, I do believe that I am going to be switching like all the trendy people <laughs> to what is it? The B5, the bigger one. Um, I do have to go and do a little bit of research on which notebooks I do want to, you know, invest in. I guess not too much actually investing. Which ones are the cheaper -er ones? Right now I am in just a Joann's, or was this a Michael's? This was a one of the two, Joann's or Michael's, I cannot remember. Like $6.99 journal. And honestly, it's been amazing. Like you guys have seen me stamp in this. You guys have seen me use markers in this. And there's like very little shadowing, uh, definitely no bleed through. Um, and I am even using close to my heart inks that tend to bleed through a lot of papers. So I am completely happy with this notebook. I, uh, they might even have the larger uh album books books there we go i can't speak today um they might even have the larger books there i just have to go and see kind of thing so uh yeah i kind of want to do that because i also have been doing a lot of my story planning in my scrapbooks and everything in this and which is probably why i go through so much paper along with the journaling um but I'm okay with that. I don't mind that. I like having everything in one spot. I know there are a lot of journalers and bullet journalers that kind of, you know, have a book for everything. And that un just has never worked for me. It didn't work for me when I was a happy planner. Um, I definitely Franken planned the crap out of that notebook and had sections for everything. And it just is, it doesn't work for me here. It's uh, you know, one time I'll need that, you know, my budget planner or the next time I would need, you know, the regular planner or I would want a journal. So having one journal that I can just pick up and go honestly has been great for me. So we're going to be definitely sticking with that. And, but I think just getting something a little bit bigger so that I can, have plenty of room to write my to-do list, um, but also have enough room to do a few other things around that also. So, all right. So here I am. I am actually for the first time going to combine my Saturday and Sunday. Um, so only making a six column. That top column is going to be my events um, part where I am just going to put just the events that we have going on during that day. And then the bottom part is going to be my to-do list. So I am just using a regular, a big pen actually at this point. I don't even, oh, nope, it is an Inkjoy type of paper mate, uh, but it's not my regular Inkjoy. Uh, but this is one that doesn't like pool ink and all that kind of stuff. So I was, I was liking it a lot more. Um, I did not speed up this footage very much. I think it just like one and a half, uh, because like I said, it was just one little spread that I'm doing. I think I actually might go through and just check off a few other things. Um, but I definitely wanted to play with these new stamps that I got from Ellie Edwards. I will link them down below. Uh, this is going to be, uh, the A Week in a Life lineup, I guess I should say, but these are for a week in a life, but they were absolutely perfect when I seen them for my journal. So we grab those up. I don't know if I'll even use them in my week in a life, but we'll see. Right. Um, next, I did want this to be a little bit bright. Um, who even thought that I'm like trying to get more springy and you know, all that kind of stuff. And we have snow outside right now, guys. I live in Michigan and we legit got like two inches of snow yesterday. It was like, Michigan, come on now. Like, <laughs> I can't even handle it. And I know some of you over in like the Montana's got like a huge blizzard. So ugh, this is April 19th, like legit. And this weekend, I think it's going to be like 
70. Anyways, here I am just using that full circle to get like the base, I guess I should say. And you're going to see, yep, I struggle with that one because like I said, I'm on the tail end of this planner and I did not move that stamp over correctly to get it off of that edge. But I am going to combine Saturday and Sunday because my little guy has a tournament and usually on tournament weekends there's not much to do. Uh, there's just more of uh, prepping maybe is that what I will call it. So um, it looks like it's going to be a good easy tournament to just kind of settle into um, as there isn't very many player or uh, teams. So. I decided to put those two together uh, and give Monday through Friday their own column because this week is absolutely crazy busy. I am still working through the dance portraits that I took two weeks ago and my deadline is Friday. <laughs> so I am working frivolously every day. Um, Today I literally just sat at a computer, I just got done with day one pictures and so tomorrow I'll have to edit and call day two pictures, but day two is a little bit easier because we had group pictures so it wasn't as long of a day with individuals and I already have all the group pictures done. So, Alright, so here I am, yep, I'm just going to put the SA up top and then the SU on bottom for um, Sunday and like I said. I figured I would just kind of let you guys sit here and watch me stamp a little bit. I know that some people do like to see the stamping. Um, and if not, then you can put it on, you know, 1.25 and get it going a little quicker. So next I'm going to use that outline and I'm going to try <laughs> and offset it a little bit. Um, who tries to offset stamps uh, and actually gets them like perfectly down? Uh, that would be me all of the time. I never can offset it like cutely. Either it's way too offset or B, it doesn't happen. So next, um, I did just put that little saying one day at a time um, at the very bottom of that spread. I'm sorry it went off of there. Uh, just because I need to remind myself that just one day at a time and you will get all of your work done. There's it's just crazy that in January and February, I was always searching for work and not having much to do. And of course, in April, this pretty much happens for all photographers. It starts warming up and everybody is like, oh, wait, we need our pictures done. <laughs> so like I said, I photographed about 85 to 87 uh, dancers last or two weeks ago. And then next week, um, I have a about seven baseball teams that I have to photograph so I'm trying to get everything done before that happens and yeah uh, lots of baseball games coming up so lastly I am just gonna put in our weekly schedule oh and I'm giving it a little bit of a drop shadow you've seen that I went past it is what it is I'm like I mentioned in my videos a lot I am not a perfectionist in this I like to get it done instead of being perfect All right, so now I am just going to pull out my Tombows. I don't have a ton of Tombows, as you can see. I mean, I have a fair share of them. Um, I don't have the best palette. I got a few of the packs, and I felt like a, a lot of them were like in the same colors. Like, as you can see, like I have tons of yellows and browns for some of all reasons. Anyways, one day, uh, maybe I'll start recollecting those. I was collecting them for a while, uh, but I stopped for a little bit and found a match perfectly. Uh, let's see if I can find that marker. Ooh, it looks like I put it away uh, for the color. Like I said, I put it away. I did use sunflower for the ink uh, close to my heart and uh, yeah, I put it away, unfortunately. I shouldn't have done that. Um, and then maybe I'll be able to stop this footage later and oh there it is looks like 993 uh, for the color so that is the Tombow and just uh, lettered April at the top and then I'm just using a drop shadow uh, with a really light gray N95 it looks like uh, for the drop shadow I also added like some black and that really is going to um, 
wrap this up. Oh, I am going to put numbers on there. And actually, I am going to use my perfectly imperfect stamp set from Close to My Heart to put a little grid at the top and the bottom, kind of like a washi tape, because I couldn't find my washi tape that looks like that. There's last week. Um, and as you can see, my weekend got kind of crazy. Uh, we were outside a lot <laughs> and it was freezing cold, but I'm not using that habit tracker at the bottom very much. Uh, it's making me feel worse about myself than anything. So we're going to stop using it for a week and then maybe bounce back with something different in May. So the other thing that hasn't been going amazingly is cleaning my house. <laughs> um, I'm doing it, but I'm not doing an amazing job at it. Um, one day I did do a lot of these tasks, as you can see, pretty much everything that I just checked off there, I checked, I did in all one day. So one thing that I have been doing though, is following that meal plan, not to a T, but actually just picking something off of there and making it happen. And I'm so glad that we've had all of these groceries. I literally grocery shopped in the beginning of the month and we still have plenty of groceries left. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, just showing you the spread one last time. And there we go, putting that black on there. And I hope you guys enjoy yourself. Definitely let me know if you guys like these videos that are a little bit more plan with me and setting up um, instead of bulking it all into the beginning of the month where sometimes those videos get pretty long. Um, Cause I think I do like these just little couple minute videos. So um, yeah. Have a wonderful day. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you are new and I will see you in the next one.